Hello, my name is Anne Provo, welcoming you to the tips and tricks of solid experts. And we are at uh, the third part of SolidWorks CAM in our digital manufacturing. So um, I'm going to speak to you about all the um, uh, all the advantage of having a SolidWorks CAM Pro solution, but not all of them because there's so many of them. But I'm going to show you a little uh, trick how to insert a part into an assembly and use it inside your SolidWorks uh, to be able to do the machining on your part. So let's go right into SolidWorks to see how it's done. All right, so here we are inside SolidWorks. We'll open up our CNC. So let's let's see what we have here. So that's an assembly of a table where I'm going to work my milling uh, for uh, my part. And uh, as you can see, it's a complete assembly. And I have a little um, 3D sketch for my stock. So uh, a single sketch for the, the bottom, a 3D sketch, a plane. So this is to create a uh, stock, a uh, virtual stock for my part, and I have a plane for the bottom of where I want my part to sit. So this is where I'm going to constrain my part inside SolidWorks. Um, about the part, let's open up our part that we did use in the other uh, tips and tricks before. So our famous part that we did on SolidWorks CAM standard, I just need to drag and drop it inside my assembly. And it's pretty much the same usual tool of uh, SolidWorks to constrain my part inside my assembly. But this time I'm going to do it on my virtual stock. So the bottom plane, like this, it's going to be coincident. And then I'm going to also uh, make sure that my part will be a uh, constraint to two other entities of my stock. So as you can see, the bottom of the part is at the right place on my stock. And now I'm just going to constrain it to this side of the stock and also that face of my part to this side of the stock. Like this. Now my stock is not the right size. So as you can see, the part is much bigger than the stock. And I have a little macro here that will auto size my stock to my part and align the part properly on my mill. So just like that, I have my stock a little bit of over under the part so that it's going to be held in place correctly by my fixation parts. Just like that. So inside my SolidWorks CAM Pro, we'll be able to see that I'm going to be able to edit the definition of my machine, select the machine, and later on I'll select the right post processor. So I'll use the tool crib, regular tool crib, and the post processor I need to generate my code. So just like that. And I'm going to accept it. Now, I can manage the part inside the assembly, which will have to be machined or not. So easily, I can add the part right here. And, and now, there are some other parts that needs to be added in there. Those grips. So let's manage our parts again and include now those grips inside the program. So I'll even add some more grips to hold my stock better. Just like that. I just need to drag, drop, SolidWorks constraint are intelligent. They're going to be able to uh, simply be copied and reused like this. And now I'm going to add those instances inside SolidWorks CAM Pro. So I select one. Grade the instances and add them. 
they're going to be categorized. So it's going to be easy to see them since there are two different types of instances. Like this, as you can see now in the tree on the left, all instances are correctly organized. Um, next step, maybe the coordinate system has to be uh, adjusted. As you can see, um, my part is well held in place by the, the grips. And now I'm just gonna maybe adjust a little bit the stock. So uh, maybe, uh, I don't remember, uh, maybe uh, one eighth or one quarter of an inch uh, more. No, no, just, I'll, I'll correct that later on. I'll add just one eighth of, of uh, stock to that. That's a, a lot too much. So just one eighth, uh, one sixteen uh, part of it. Like that. Now stock is perfect. I'll adjust the coordinate to the bounding box of the stock, as you can see. So I just select the dot, perfect, and I'll be ready to go and do the machining on my part. So very easily like this, SolidWorks Cam Pro has um, been able to manage now my part. And now it's going to be able to grab all the features of my part to be able to do the machining on that part. So uh, that's the the rest of the usual job that we know SolidWorks can can do. This is just a little little advantage that you can see SolidWorks Can Pro can do for you. So let's see you next time on our tips and tricks of Solid Expert. Thank you. Bye bye.